This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at something known as a web portal. Web portal, as we've talked about, is a site in, from which you can kind of branch out and gather all kinds of information. It's usually something that you can customize as well. You create a login account, say to Yahoo or Google or MSN, and then you can customize a home page of your liking to present with, to you the information that you're most likely going to want to see on a daily basis. So in this demo, we'll take a look at using a couple of these different web portals and how to modify them. We're going to start out with Google, uh, with iGoogle. Okay, we'll use Internet Explorer to do this. Uh, iGoogle is a, uh, a portal of sorts. Okay? Uh, Google itself has the ability to create Gmail accounts and those kinds of things, but when you click on iGoogle, uh, you'll have this, these options. Right? Now I'm going to go ahead and, and sign in. Sign in as an account that I have uh, created for this purpose. I have to remember my password. Okay, so I'm in as uh, my K Alliance user account. I'm going to go ahead and display all the content. Now, notice here immediately when I've logged in as this account, it says I, you want to create your own home page. So I'm going to tell it my interest. My interest. It's going to be news. Uh, technology, sports, and we'll go with uh, social. Okay? I can select a theme if I'd like. Those can be changed later. And then I can choose country, region, city, zip code, things like that. And we'll click see my page. All right now it's going to automatically then choose certain things for me. Get rid of, get rid of that. It's going to choose certain things for me. And I can then make iGoogle uh, my home page. I'll say use that as my only home page. So every time I open this up, this is what I want to uh, see. Now notice again, it has chosen what I'm going to have available to me uh, in this portal. And so I can just click on these links. It's going to have my, my city there for, for weather. Um, YouTube videos, going to have my Gmail account, uh, those kinds of things. I can quickly look at those, going to have uh, some newspapers and Facebook and Twitter and sports scores and all those kinds of things. Now, that's all, these are all just basically links. Also, I have chat with anybody that I uh, had added as a contact. But out here is technically what we would be considering a portal. And what I can do is I can click and drag these and move this around. Let's say, okay, date and time, you know, actually, I don't even really want to see that. So I'm going to uh, minimize this gadget. Well, actually, that still allows me to see it. So, okay, I'm going to delete this gadget. And that's just going to delete it from that, uh, from that area. Weather, okay, but I don't really want that there. So I kind of move that down. I'm just holding the left mouse button, and I choose where I want to uh, put that. Okay. So we have these others. Yeah, I'd like those there. We'll move, uh, oops, move this around. Um, and drop that. I can connect in with a Facebook account. We'll hold off on that. But uh, the point is, so I'll minimize that for right now. Point is, is on these portable portals, we can move all of this around. We can change it to our liking. This is something obviously that I can change at any other time. What about if I want some things that it, it didn't add for me? Well, then I can click add stuff. Uh, add stuff, and then we've got a variety of different gadgets and themes and, and different things that you might add. We can search uh, for, for those gadgets. So, for instance, I'm going to search for comics. We've got different comics. I'd like Garfield of the Day. And so I'll add it now and go back to my iGoogle Home, and I will have added Garfield. Now, again, it put it right up at the top. We can move it around. We can do anything you want. Okay, so that, that is one type of portal. Another type of portal, or another portal, is Yahoo. MSN is, is one. Excite used to be a very popular one. Uh, Yahoo is here. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and li uh, sign in again. This would be to a Yahoo account that was created. Okay, 
So now here is Yahoo, and Yahoo's is a little bit different. Okay, this is technically, this is a true portal, and you've got the different places that you can kind of launch into uh, over here on the left. You've also got favorites, and you can add things to that. Let's pick the sites. I'm going to click edit here, and I'm going to choose the sites that I want uh, to, to add. Okay, these are additional sites, and so I say, oh, well, I play fantasy football, so I'm going to add that to the list, and that's at the top. Uh, we've got TV. I want to add TV to it. You know, if over here there are some that I don't, so I'll click I'm done. If over here there are some that I don't want, notice from this location I actually can't do anything. So I need to edit and I'm going to be able to choose the ones that I don't want. I don't want that one. I don't want the jobs and horoscopes. And so we can get rid of uh, dating. We can get rid of any of these that I, I don't need. Click I'm done and that's how I am customizing uh, my uh, customizing this portal. Okay, now notice here weather. This is going to. This is based on whatever city I happen to have put in on my profile. I put in a zip code, and so it's got my current weather, and we can make those uh, changes over here on page options. You can select a color. You want to switch different colors. You want to move news on top. Switch to a more compact view. Uh, then that would be the the compact view. Again, all of this stuff can be changed. Um, nothing is set in stone. That's really what a portal is all about. On favorites here, you can click edit and you can add in your own favorites. So you can customize a web page to your liking. Whoops, we'll go HTTP and we'll add in Wikipedia here and we'll just call it Wikipedia. So basically, this is a favorites list uh, that you are able to add in. And then you can just click on those, and it's just another way of getting to favorites, but it's through this web-based portal. Uh, and so some, and some of them, if you've got the ability to do it, you can open it in a quick view. That means you're going to stay on your portal page, but you're going to open up this, in this case, a, a Wikipedia uh, search. Okay. And then when you click OK, and it will have searched it, and it was restricted to that site because that's where I did uh, the search. Uh, it did the search within there. I just kind of made up a name there. So, but that's the that is the concept of a web portal. It's essentially a customizable page from which you can get all kinds of information. Portals were designed to be the one site that you would go to, your home page, and from there you could launch into all different kinds of pages, but having everything right there within close proximity, right there at your fingertips. And so if you take the time to customize it, you can make sure that the information you are most likely going to need is available right at your fingertips.